What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Chum Zone. I did my jail time. I did my six months, no Sonic. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back. Sega! Sega and Sonic is back on this channel. With the exception of the Infinity Engine. Looks familiar, doesn't it? What better way to bring back the blue blur than the original Sonic the Hedgehog on the mobile version specifically? Oh. Yes. The intro itself is just so cool. And it's just it's just a shame that this hasn't been ported to uh, new generation consoles. And what's super, actually pretty super cool about this is in the settings, you can switch between the Japan, Japan, US, and Europe. That's what makes this so interesting. So as always, we're gonna go in fresh from the womb. This thing is so cool. New game, gonna go with the boy Sonic. I got a lot of work to do. Sega. And yes, I'm doing it all on the touchscreen. We're doing this on the iPad. 1991, 2013. Bro, let's go, baby. Going in. So, as you all know, this is pretty much created by Christian Whitehead. The physics are the same. We have a spin dash on top of that. That's what makes this actually so interesting. And it runs at a full, I believe it's a full 60 frames. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yes, top notch. And the D will be done. Let me know in the comments below. This will be for question of the day. What are your personal thoughts when it comes to Sonic 1 and its new physics and how do you feel about it as a whole? It, is this the game that brought your attention to Sonic or has it been others? Oh boy, the one thing I actually don't miss is the uh, special stages, but I can get them done. I can get them done. I don't doubt the skills. Man, this takes me back. Nostalgia glasses are on right now. <laughs> Round two. Feels so weird the fact that I can just do a spin dash on here. And with it being on touchscreen, it actually feels a little weird as well. Going in. This is nice. Oh, we're gonna wait and wait. We're not wasting any time. Let's go. And the D will be done. <laughs> Short, sweet, to the point. Nice. All right, let's get our second emerald. And actually, fun little facts about this, I think there's actually a way you can actually turn supersonic on this, on this thread. Wow. Wow. I will not. Not today. Not today. I do admit, though, it does feel better despite the touchscreen. It feels good, physics-wise, to play it this way. I just wish I could... I know you can play it with a controller. I don't have the funds for that right at the moment. <laughs> but it does feel nice. I wish you could play it on the new generation. I want to play it on the PC. I want to play this on... 
like PS4 and stuff like that. This version specifically, Christian's version. They continue, son. What you know about them? Round three. Going in. Yeah, it feels good. Feels great. And I actually feel like I haven't played this in years. But it's all familiar to me. And that that's a good thing. That is definitely a good thing. So, I don't know if you guys recall, but back in the day, if you got hit by spikes with Sonic, the hitbox would still be active. And if you hit the spikes again, it's a wrap. That wide screen. What? Oh. Okay. Christian fixed that. When Eggman came down, you could actually hit him. Our first boss, and so many people back in the day had issues with this boss. And the deed will be done. For this playthrough, we're gonna be doing two stages. Cause, eh, I don't want it to be too short. Feel me? Feels good. Feels great. And it's interesting because we go from that speed to Marvel Zone. All about patience. Who has patience in a Sonic game? Like, what? Granted, I know Sonic is a platformer. I know. But still, it's the principle of the matter. But, I digress. What are your personal thoughts when it comes to Marble Zone? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you find it rather annoying? I believe if you play this with Knuckles, you have alternate pathways if you go to the right. But, unfortunately, because we got Sonic, we don't get that privilege. Alright. Thank you. What the f Well, that's embarrassing. We're gonna pretend like that never happened. Cool? Cool. Right. Whoops. So, remember I told you I was on touch screen? Yeah. Yeah. I got nothing. Don't judge me. Touchscreen is not my, uh, cup of tea with these mobile games. Alright, feel a little better now. Gotta make sure I get all of the 50 rings. Thank you! Okay, I need more. Wow, 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 wow. I am not. We are not doing this. <laughs> I want my big ring. Very good. Okay. I actually, now that I think about it, I actually saw somebody create a actual, like, I don't want to call it CGI, but an animation for this stuff. They actually created a Sonic 1 episode, and it was pretty cool. Ah, crap. Oh, no. Nope. 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 Go back up. But, 
yeah, it was actually very nice to see Sonic in an animation for Sonic 1. This is stuff that I would like to see incorporated into the actual games. In a way. What? Wow. Wow. And this is the exact reason why I'm not, I don't like these particular special stages, but we're gonna let it slide. It's okay. I wasn't gonna, I, this wasn't gonna be the perfect playthrough. We'll get it back. I guarantee it. Yeah, because there's only, what, six emeralds technically in this one? I wonder what made them decide to put seven. They should incorpor that, incorporate that into the story. Like, build upon that. Well, technically that happened with before and after the sequel, but still! It'd be nice to know. Backstory behind the emeralds. Give it some depth. Depth. That touch screen, though, it's messing with me. Okay. Thank you. I remember back in the day when I would push onto these things. On the Genesis, it would lag so bad back in the day. It feels good to play this again. I can't deny this. This feels good to play Sonic again. Really? Okay, now we gotta actually be careful. I want redemption. I'll take it. Fail. I wanted to break all of them. Okay, we don't have to be safe anymore. our way, playing the waiting game, because you know that's fun. <laughs> no deaths, no BS, and the D will be done. Very good, very good, very good. And to think. The guy who the the guy who created or remastered all of this is the same guy who and his team created Mania. Good on you. I hope they're like right here, right now, creating more stuff. They have to be. I just realized that we're not on the previous one, so. But it's fine. Please be careful. No. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're in the clear. Give me my prize. Give me my glory. Thank you. That's all I want in life. Should have happened on the previous one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Three down, three to go. Should have been four. I don't know why I love. I dig the music for this. It's just Sonic music just grabs me as a whole. 
Probably why I stay with this franchise. Okay, we learned our lesson. I don't even know why. Sometimes I wonder why the spin dash is here, but then again, it's a blessing. And a curse. Glad you stopped me. Hey now, hey now, hey now. You stay a away. It's like I was asking for it. Right. Caterkiller. Worst enemy in the Sonic franchise. <laughs> Flame on. Secret passageway. I wonder how many people actually know about that. That particular spot. Alright, so because there's no big ring at the end of every third level, I could be a little more aggressive. But not with this platforming. Yeesh. Getting down to the wire and getting destroyed in the process. Getting destroyed in the process. <laughs> With no rings, right at the end. Let's go. I'm a trooper. I don't need no rings. I'm strong. I'm independent. Get body. And not die. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. It's safe to say that we're done here. Show some love for Sonic 1. Christian Whitehead version. As always, it's a pleasure. Like, comment, let me know what you think. This is Shumba, signing out. Later.